Uh, good evening. Welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just, uh, well, what I've done is I've built the Joule Thief down into a little test bed so that I can test different transistors and different coils on here. Um, and so let me just explain what we've got. This is the basic Joule Thief. Here are a couple of batteries. They have a different amount of charge in them. We'll be measuring that in a moment. One of them is about 1 volt and the other one's about 1.4 volts. So there's quite a bit of difference. One of them is very depleted and the other one is still almost fully charged. There's a, an LED. This is a 2N2222A transistor. And my screwdriver is magne magnetic. How about that? Huh. Okay, anyway, that's 2N2222A. And what's in there right now is a transistor that is sold by Radio Shack as a, a generic uh, NPN type equivalent to 2N3904. But it doesn't have the regular 3904 markings on it. Um, it's just a NPN transistor, and it's, uh, it goes... Uh, you see that? Emitter base collector. I actually have that marked on there, but I don't know if you can see it. Emitter base collector, okay? Uh, and then the LED there. So the Jewel Thief circuit, oh, and this uh, this thing over here is a little insert that I'll use uh, when we go to measure the current. It's just uh, two washers uh, separated by an insulator broken out to some leads so that it can be sandwiched in between the battery and one of the uh, battery holder terminals there, and then that'll give us a way to measure the current. Okay, so uh, the, the toroid is the same one that I used in the last demo. It's uh, it, you take uh, two pieces of wire, in this case, I've got an orange wire and a brown wire, and you uh, wrap them ten turns around the toroid, and then you take the bottom end of one winding and the top end of the other winding and solder those together and then you have the two free ends should be of opposite colors right okay so the middle the middle windings that are soldered together there go to the positive of the battery and that's the only place they go goes through the switch here to the positive of the battery. Okay, that's from the the middle, the joined windings of the toroid. Okay, the top end of the toroid goes to the 1k resistor and then to the base of the transistor, and that's the only place it goes. The other end of the toroid winding goes to the cathode or <clears throat> excuse me the collector of the transistor the anode of the LED and that's it okay and this other wire that I have over here is a way that I can just switch the anode of the LED directly to the positive of the, of the battery holder to show that the battery itself isn't strong enough to light the LED. And then the emitter of the transistor is connected to the cathode of the LED and those are connected to the negative side of the battery. And that's the whole Joule Thief circuit. And all I've done is I've installed uh, these little terminal blocks here so that I can easily change out the toroid and the transistor. Okay, and then there's the switch. All right, and then what this is over here, this is another toroid that I wound to use as a tester for my flyback driver circuit and uh, I just decided to try it out in this circuit because I already had it wound. And it has um, this smaller winding that's 36 turns of number 27 magnet wire. No, it's not number 27, it's number 24. Number 24 magnet wire, 36 turns, and then it has just not a bifiler winding, but just a single wire 
ten turns with a center tap. Okay, so five turns, center tap, five more turns. Not by filer, just all wound in the same direction. So I'll be substituting this toroid in for that one in a, in a moment. Okay, so first let's take the battery that has the least voltage in it and uh, just show that we do in fact have a nice bright jewel thief working there. Okay. And uh, oh, these are chocolate chips over here. <coughs> Excuse me. We eat one of those every once in a while. Mm. Okay. Alright, so the first thing that I want to do is uh, we'll go ahead and hook up the instrumentation. So I'm going to put the current monitoring wafer in there. And then I have the voltmeter and all that in my lap. So I'm going to that up now. So here's the negative lead from the voltage current monitor. Here's the positive lead. And then here's the other lead that goes that makes the circuit to the jewel thief. Okay, so uh, Okay, so that battery you can see has a no load voltage of 1.03 volts and there's no current right now. Right. So let me turn it on. Okay, so we have a loaded voltage now of uh, 0.82 volts and a current of about 40 milliamps. 39, 38. As the battery voltage drops, the current will also drop. So let's just call it 39 milliamps. Turn that off. Okay. All right. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is just take the transistor out and turn it around, actually. So that now it's going to be miswired the same way it was in my last video with the, well, miswired with the collector where the emitter should be and the emitter where the collector should be. Okay, and uh, well, you see it actually still works. But the only problem is, it's a lot more efficient this way. Right? We had 40 milliamps before, and now we've only got 11 milliamps with the transistor in backwards. <coughs> Excuse me. I have allergies. Okay, got that. The transistor's in backwards, and we're producing good amount of light and we've pulled the battery voltage down only a little bit from its 1.02 volts and we're only drawing 11 milliamps of current with the transistor in backwards okay so now I'm gonna turn the transistor back around forwards again It is a little bit brighter in this situation, uh, but 
for f almost four times the current draw. Alright, so that's all good. Now let's substitute toroids here. Let me take this one out. And uh, we'll put this one in. That one's in, this one's out. And we're all still hooked up with the small battery there. Okay, so now you see that one works as the jewel thief. Draws a bit more current. take and turn the transistor around now so that it'll be backwards again. Sorry about the light. Alright, now the transistor's in backwards. And see the light doesn't light. But It does draw a few milliamps of current when I turn it on with the transistor in backwards. Okay, so let me turn the transistor back around. Okay, and uh, there's our light, and there's our voltage and current. Okay, now, what about this though? This is a little socket off of the secondary winding of this toroid, okay, and this is another LED, so I'm going to put that in there, and uh, look, it killed this LED. But this one is actually glowing dimly. But what if I take this LED and turn it around? Stick it in there. Oh. Now I have this LED glowing and this LED glowing. They're both glowing. And I have less current draw. Remember this was like, what was it, 50 milliamps or something. So slightly less current draw now. Pretty strange, huh? Whoops. Sorry about that. Just knocked loose one of my leads. Okay. Okay, now let me switch this transistor out. We already know with this toroid, the transistor does not work turned around backwards. Right? So here's the 2N2222A transistor, and we'll put it in the correct way around. If I can get it in there. Okay, that's the correct way around. There's our nice light. This transistor is a little bit more efficient, it looks like. And then if I put this LED in there. Like that. 
So we got them both glowing. Back to the first toroid. So that's the first toroid with the 2N2222A. Nice bright light. Thirty milliamps. But will it work with the transistor backwards? draws a small amount of current, but it doesn't light the LED. Okay, so with the original toroid and the original transistor, the transistor will work backwards and forwards but with the other toroid, it'll only work forwards. And the 2222A only works forwards with either toroid. That's forwards, the right way around. It's very convenient when they have the base in the center. I hate it when the base or the gate is on the end. See there, it still works. But with a lot less current draw. Okay, thanks for watching an unusually long demonstration of the Jewel Thief and uh, backwards transistor.